All right, what's up guys and welcome. So welcome to an all new series here on the channel. And this is something that we've been kind of contemplating on for far too long. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to an all new series on Dying Light, the following. So about a year ago, we started a series on the main story of Dying Light. And as most of you know, it was by far one of the coolest series that I've ever done on the channel. Like personally speaking, there was just so much complexity within that game, not just the parkour, but the story and, you know, the monsters or the zombies or the dead or whatever you want to call them that uh, I did promise to do the following DLC eventually. And it's almost been a year and I was kind of waiting for some sort of hype to kind of come around this game again. And I thought to myself, after watching the previous gameplay reveal that we saw last week on Dying Light 2, what better time to start the following DLC than right here, right now? Now, I will be honest, it's been about a year since I last played this game. So it's going to be a little bit rough for the first couple of minutes, maybe the first episode. I got to get the groove of things back again. This game can tend to be very complex as far as movements and stuff like that. Um, but definitely, I've been wanting to dive back into this world. And I think today, right now, is the perfect time. Dying Light is among us. Dying Light 2 is among us, better yet. And I'm really, really excited for that game. And I hope you guys are excited for this series. If you guys would like to see daily episodes on the following DLC, just let it be known in the comments. Drop the video a like. Let's start it with a bang. And uh, thank you for being here. By the way, today, for this part, for this DLC, we are going to be playing on the computer. We played it on PS4 last time, but I just tried it on the PC and it's just night and day difference. Like, it's just way too smooth and it looks way too good to just pass. The only thing is, I don't have anything from my main game, which is, you know, kind of sucks, but I'm willing to risk my inventory for my viewing pleasure. Well, thank you once again. And without further ado, let's do this. Don't make me. Uh, you said he talked about magic and what? Domesticated zombies? And I missed the main game. He talked about a group of people who don't get infected. Don't, 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 even if they're bitten. No, no. Delirious people will say anything. He was holding this map when we brought him in. Whoa. It, it, this looks like. A way out of Haran. Crane, we're running out of Antizin. We have to explore every possibility. We can't wait any longer. Wow. So this is how we leave Haran. And this is exactly why we find this other area. Stay away. Stay away. You don't understand. The mother. The mother. No way. I'm a little terrified that I'm not leveled at all but i'm also very 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 excited the countryside so that's what the dlc is about you find a group of people civilized not a civilization but a group of people that are immune right that's what it is I'm pretty sure and it's literally correlated with one of the characters from the original story find a way out of the sewers Oh my, I mean, look at how smooth this game is. Just look at this. We had to play at like 30 frames on the PlayStation 4 about a year ago. And it was, it was not a whole lot of fun. Unfortunately, we do not have like all the cool gadgets, but you know, it sucks. But I, I rather have, I rather have a, a smooth experience personally. Plus I bought a really expensive computer for what? Did I use it? DLC new outfits, uh, new player outfits can be unlocked. Okay, so we find our way out of the sewers. It's probably up top. Actually, no, it's not up top. New blueprints have been unlocked. Let me see the blueprints. Yeah, you see, I don't have anything, okay? I do have uh, certain things like crossbow and stuff like that that I can craft, which are probably just part of this DLC, but I don't have anything crazy. Here we go. Jumping into the infested waters. Do we have anything underwater here that we can gather? Oh, man. Dude, this game looks so good on the computer. Oh, my God. Oh, goodness. It's like night and day difference. 
Okay, so we're supposed to go this way. Man, it feels so good to be back, guys. I really hope we start off this this episode with a bang. It'll be nice. Nice little motivation for me, you know? Ooh, what the hell happened to this guy? Do not bite me, okay? Oh. Nothing ha You have a new outfit. Hold on, let me go to the outfits. Inventory. Um wait, I can't use the outfits here, can I? Yeah, I think that has to be like in um I think the only way to change that is in the safe houses or whatnot. Again, I could be wrong. You guys are gonna have to uh teach me this all over again. Now I don't think we can go up there. Not at all. Alright, hold on. What's over here? Oh, it's actually this one. Oh, never mind. So I went backwards thinking it was the right way and I found an outfit. <laughs> Label me impressed. See, that's what you call a happy accident. No mistakes. It's happy accidents. Whoa. Okay, so we've got some creepy drawings all over the walls. Got that symbol again. What is happening here? Dude, imagine thinking that you've been stuck in this city this whole time and then you end up finding this crazy new area. Oh my god! Lena, do you copy? <laughs> Yeah, listen, your one-eyed delirious patient, he was telling the truth. There is a way out. It may be what he said about people who don't turn is true. He died this morning, Kyle. Oh. The fever got him. You were on your own, I'm afraid. Find someone who Lena? knows more about the rumor. Lena! Okay, here we go. I'm yeah, gonna go. Fucking I'm gonna go for it. Oh, God. One more time. Oh, God. Just broke my rib cage. Oh my god, this is a freaking waste. It's not a waste. It's a. It's, it's it's like no buildings at all. I guess we can say wastelandish. No, not really. Listen, man, I'm trying to focus here. Just calm down. Oh, this is exciting crap. Now, I don't know much about the DLC. I just know a lot of you told me that. I should play for the reason being that it, it concludes our story of this character. Um, and a lot of you recommended that I do that for that reason. And obviously that it's essentially a lot of uh, open fields and driving a buggy and stuff like that. As opposed to, you know, buildings and parkour. And you can still parkour, but there's a lot less parkour um, in comparison to actual you know, driving around and running over dead zombies. <laughs> Yeah, sounds pretty exciting to me. Let's go up here. I don't even know if I'm going the right way right now. Wait, are you telling me I gotta jump in the water? Nah, that can't be it, man. Listen, don't do it. Don't do it. If you do it, you're gonna die. You understand? Okay, we're doing it. We're freaking doing it. <gasps> Sharks here? There? No sharks? Okay. Okay. Oh, that was fucking cool. I thought I was gonna be a goner. And we have we've got another dead body here. <gasps> How you doing, sir? Oh man, I really wish I had my freaking gear. I wish I was level whatever the hell I was. I don't remember, but oh it would have been so cool. But I mean let's take a look at this. I mean you you cannot you just cannot go wrong with this. Hunting tower spotted. So many dead bodies. It's crazy because you would think, hey, we found a civilization of people that can help us. We are free. We are saved. But no, this is actually probably scarier. I have unspent skill points. 
probably scarier than uh, where we're coming from, you know? So, Survivor, you got this. Agility. Agility tree allows you to outrun your opponents to increase your agility level, perform climbs, jumps. Okay, cool. Um, dodge. Okay. And then grapple. Use the movement of attacking enemies to throw them around. Slide while running. That's going to be helpful. Um, we got power here. Power tree allows you to face your opponents directly. Driver. Oh, this is a new one. The driver skill tree allows you to gain various upgrades for your buggy. To increase your driver level, earn driver points by, for example, killing enemies with your car, making jumps, or driving as fast as you can. Okay, I like that. I, I, I like it a lot. And then uh, everything else is just... Okay. Pretty basic. Oh, that's the tower. Oh my god, this is so sweet. Right, let me... Can I climb up there? Of course I can, man. This is the hardcore parkour. <laughs> okay, I'm starting to get the hang of things back again. Not too shabs. Alright, here we go. You guys remember the lockpick, man? This was my worst enemy. And then eventually I learned how to do it, but... Oh boy, was this my worst enemy. Ha! Ah, fuck! And... I broke it. You can create new lockpicks by... Uh, using metal parts. Yeah, leave it to me to break the lockpick. I am not done here. I will not give up on this thing. You understand? Got it. Bro. Thank God I didn't give up on this. Okay, so I'm going to go here again, just considering where we're at and who we're facing up against or who we're, I guess that makes sense. I'm going to change some of the things in my inventory. Um, equipped, I've got a gas pipe, which is borderline a joke. I'm going to put this back over here. This is just a joke. I will put this here and I will put this there and I will equip the, I will keep, I will keep the wrench for now. It's the, the weakest one. I would assume. Oh. Hi, how you doing, pal? Oh, how you doing, pal? Oh, this ain't that bad. I don't have to be level 12, man. Come on. This is cake. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, this is the moment of truth, ladies and gentlemen. The moment of truth. Oh, shit. Oh, I have missed this so much. Oh, I have missed kicking zombie ass. I cannot believe I have betrayed this game for the last 11 months. Oh, God, it feels good to be back. What's up, bitches? Well, that place looks occupied, more or less. <laughs> I love it. I freaking love it. What's up, dude? Wanna get spanked? Okay, I think he actually hit me. For now, I'm gonna have to rely on my kicks. I don't have a whole lot of cool weapons, so you're gonna have to excuse me. Man, this is incredible. It looks so much better on the computer. It's not even funny, man. So obviously, I'm gonna have to break in. Or just jump. Never mind, there's somebody there. Oh, we've got barbed wire up the top. Can I just jump through here? Yep. What do you want? I need to talk to someone in charge. I'm from Haran. Oh, you a smuggler. And you work for that crook, huh? Look, I, I don't know anything about any smuggling, pal. I'm here just... I need some help. As for Jasir, but understand this. If you steal anything, you lose your hands. Well, 
I don't mean to burst your bubble, pal, but I like to loot stuff. I've got my eye on you, stranger. You know, like I'll probably come in your house and check your drawers, maybe your garbage. I'll, you know, I'll do some of that basic looting 101. You know, it's survival instinct. It's we're in a post-apocalyptic world, man. What do you expect? I want you guys to pay attention to how this world looks in comparison to when Dying Light 2 arrives, because it's going to be completely different. Oh, can I break this? Oh, there's a little kid there. What's up, little dude? You want to die? Hi. Uh, excuse me. I don't know anything. <laughs> Look, could you just tell me where to find someone who does know something? Look for Jazir. He'll be inside the bar. The barn. Where's the barn? Oh, hold on. Let me check this here. Need something? Are you the one in charge? I need some help. Talk to Jasir. Mm, is he in here? I forbid it. Father, please. Can't we talk no, about this? No, no. End of discussion. Fine. Fine. Hey. Eski. Wait. Eski. Sir? Is that this guy? Yes. I don't mean to interrupt. I'm looking for Jazir. I am Jazir. But if you want food, we have only bread. No, no, I, I don't need food. Listen, I'm from Haran, and I've come because I've heard that there are people here who are immune to the virus, that they don't turn, even if they get bitten. Oh. And who told you this? Uh, a dead man, I'm sorry to say. You might as well keep listening to him. I'll tell you no more than he. Fucking hell. Why won't anybody help me? The virus is all over the city. People are dying. And yet, you still live. Take some bread, my friend, and go back to Haran. No one wants you here. Oh, damn. Damn, listen here, you old geezer. I will slap you silly. I will slap that beard off your head. You understand? Don't mess with me, man. Don't mess with me. You understand? I will kick your ass. Okay, I'm just checking here make sure there's nothing missing, nothing that I can loot. I don't think there's anything worth looting at the moment, to be honest. Well, you know, this is Crane. Do you copy? Damn, I want a fucking wasteland. Hey, yeah, you. Come here. Come on, come closer. I won't bite you. Don't worry. I ain't like the rest of these loonies. Yeah, I'm talking about you, you nut jobs. So you're not one of them? Why aren't they trying to run you off? Because I sell more shit than just bread. My name's Khan, by the way. Kyle Crane. Hey, you're from Haran, right? Bet you ran into my optically challenged buddy. You mean the guy with an eye missing? Yeah, that's the one. My boy, Kurt. How's he doing? Hmm. Oh, he, uh... Yeah, he, he didn't make it. Well, that's a damn shame. But, can't say I'm surprised. Maybe you can help me. Kurt said the people out here are immune to the virus. You know anything about that? Uh, now that you mention it, I don't remember any of the locals actually turning. Fucking wackos. They're in a damn cult. Led by some woman they called the mother. Used to be just a harmless local tradition, you know? They weren't serious about it. Well, they're goddamn serious these days. Ever since the outbreak. They scribble symbols everywhere. Do these fucking rituals. I think they even pray to her. Yeah, but what about this whole not turning thing? They on Antizen or what? Listen, I'm short a man now. And since I'm an entrepreneur, let's do business. Partner up, you and me. Buying anything, friend? <laughs> Freaks. What partnership you have in mind? Well, you need some information, and thanks to Kurt getting himself deceased, I need a driver with brains. I can show you something that might help you out, but we'll need to get some wheels first. You want a vehicle out here? Where am I supposed to find that? I'd look around the nearest farm, I were you. And hey, be discreet about it, all right? Totally not suspicious. Can I go in here? What's up, boys? What's going on? You guys look <laughs> incredibly fucked up. Yes, you are. I actually didn't even have to crawl through the window. I could have just 
Yeah. Whoa. Oh, what is that? Ugh. Disgusting. Hey, this is a pretty nice place here, let me tell you. Besides the fact that nobody wants me here, I'm actually quite thoroughly enjoying myself. I'm enjoying my own company in these streets, you understand? I don't need friends. Look at this guy. <laughs> Please, you should leave. Uh, can I have your shotgun? Give me your shotgun and I'll leave. All right, so I'm gonna stick to the, not the rooftops. There's really no no roofs here, but I like I I like this for a change of pace. I really really like the fact that the DLC has made this game so different, so so different. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, I got some of these monsters chasing me. What the fuck? to tell me this? <laughs> well, they weren't important at the moment. Fucking fleas, you just can't get rid of them. No structure, no balls, no like for business. <laughs> Sounds like we're off to a good start. Ah, don't be a drama queen. You can handle them. Listen, I gotta deal with some customers. Just give me a sign once you got the car. With some customers? Bro, you don't got customers. We're, this is a damn apocalypse. <laughs> Oh, there's the car. Oh, is that going to be the buggy? Oh, man, that's going to be sweet. I cannot wait to try that shit out. Hold on, hold on. Oh, God. Oh, God. Uh, how do I climb this crap? another lockpick and it's considered it's labeled as hard let's see how hard it is it's not too bad come on now man what do we have here oh suede pouch Inventory full. Okay, so I'm gonna go to my inventory. I'm gonna drop some of these uh, And I will pick up this pipe All right, so perfect Oh, wait a minute. What am I doing? Let's get crazy with it. You got a freaking zip line right here What the fuck I didn't know these were enemies what the fuck am I doing here? I forgot how to do the takedown from the back. I don't even know if we could do that. I think that's an ability. Oh my god, this is nerve wracking. I literally just kicked that guy off, bro. I had no freaking clue. These were like. Oh my god! <laughs> oh. 
Hey man, this truck's really good. No way, dude. This drives awesome. Oh, you guys want some more? Oh, y'all want some more? Oh, fuck. You s hold on, hold on. Oh. Dude, this is freaking amazing. Where am I supposed to go? Okay, seriously, you need to calm the fuck down, man. Alright, let me see if I can make it to where I gotta go. I, I don't have a whole lot of fuel left. This is nuts. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, my God. Let's go. Dude, this drives so freaking good. I would have never expected for a game like this to be so good when it comes to, you know, them just implying a third party vehicle or. I don't know if we want to call it that, but it's not like it's the main focus of the game, or at least it never was, but now it is, maybe on this DLC. But it drives really good. I've also noticed, um, do not go to the high tall grass because it drastically slows down the car. Or the buggy. Stick to the road. Okay. Report your success. <laughs> Oh man, let's go. How do I get out of this? Oh, why? Look at that bad boy. Ooh, I like. Very nice. Very nice. All right, let's go report to this dude. If he's got anything. This guy's got cell phones. Meds. He's got it all, huh? Oh, who are you? You're looking for Khan? He's gone. Uh, I guess they finally asked him to leave. Asked him to leave, huh? And what, at gunpoint? And who's they? They finally did what my father should have done a long time ago. And it suddenly got really nice and quiet around here, didn't it? You didn't answer my question. Of course I didn't. You're here for the same reason he was. Same reason the bandits won't leave us alone. And we're supposed to trust you? There's gotta be something I can do to convince you. You don't have to convince me. I don't care. Show everyone else you're here to give, not just to take. Hmm. And I'm Eski, by the way. Kyle Crane, Eski. Can you give me some hints at least? W w what do you guys need? I suppose I could help you out. Just remember, you'll have to return the favor one day. You got it. The groundwaters got polluted a while back. Imagine what would happen if you got our water running again. I assume there is a way to do this? Yes, there is. But it's in banded territory. Several men who volunteered to go there, well, they never came back. So I wouldn't recommend it. Unless you have a death wish. If you do, then just follow the pipeline. Um, uh, okay. What if I do have a, dead, a death wish? What if I like to live life on the fast lane? Live it on the edge? What if I am a daredevil? Don't know me, woman. Don't <laughs> tell me what I can and should I not do. All right, hold on. So let's go here back to the uh, skills tree. Um, Still nothing for that. We're not even high leveled enough to get any of these things, which is kind of, it's kind of pathetic and sad. But you know what? This is the life we chose. And uh, we're just going to roll with it. Stun. Learn how to attack with great precision. Each strike with a blunt weapon to an enemy's head has a chance to stun. Uh, the kick stun, multi throw, lock onto or up to three enemies with throwing weapons. Okay, so here we have. There's nothing that we can make at the meantime. Okay. 
I'm wondering if we can put like a waypoint now that we have a little buggy. That would have been nice to take over this area, but I don't. But I cleared that area for a safe zone. So hint, this is your buggy upgrade screen. Here you can install, repair, and replace buggy parts to improve the specs of your vehicle. Check your upgrades and assign active upgrades to action button. Hmm. Customize your buggy visually by changing paint jobs and accessories. Ooh, nice. Ah, oh, so once things start fucking up, you gotta start changing it. Ah. Oh. Equipment slot. Hmm. Oh, so you can use equipment slots as well. Customize. No shit. Did I just change that? Wait, 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 wait. No, no, hold on. Desert Fury. Well, it kind of has some of the things. It doesn't have everything. How do I get gas for this thing, though? Like, I'm, 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 I'm running a little low on gas. I'm really hoping the game is not making me... <clears throat> Let me get off here. Excuse me. Pardon me. Oh, I gotta lockpick this crap. Alright. Open this up. Oftentimes, you get some pretty good loot off of these things. So, it's, it's good to kind of loot everything. I'm not going to be doing that all the time. But, uh, considering the low level, we have to. You have a weapons upgrade. Select uh, a weapon and press LT to upgrade. Okay. <clears throat> I will drop this. And, uh... And I will get the wrench. Okay, how about over here? Got the trunk. Looting components. Looting hoods and vehicles scattered across. Okay. Perfect. The trunk. Oh, sugar. Household supplies. Look at that. Nice. Is that bullets? Yes. The SMG that I do not have. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, we're good to go. Let's see. Here we go this way. Man, I am so surprised <clears throat> at how good this thing drives. So that's what that thing was at the bottom left on the HUD. Whenever you hit something or whatever, it, it kind of starts uh, depleting the, the particular parts of, of the buggy. Which makes complete sense now. Oh, it drives so good. Go! <laughs> what the hell? So there's the level up. Uh, I just realized we have a level up uh, bar for the buggy. And if we hit the zombies, we can level up the buggy. Don't mind me. That's actually pretty cool. On the side. Enter from the side. Uh, find a way inside. Okay. Oh, so you guys are not hostile. Or are you hostile? Oh, this looks quite peaceful and romantic. How you doing here, buddy? Are you lost? This man was smoking cigarettes. I'm pretty sure he had something in his hands. Inventory is full. I'm good to go, though. Maybe from here. There it is. What does that say? Water. 
Speak with the bandit leader. Hmm. So now we're befriending the bandits. Interesting. I'm over. I got you, man. Relax. <laughs> They're gonna put me to fight with this guy. You're actually selling something out here? Water, crystal clear, no diarrhea afterburns. Tastes as if an angel stepped on your tongue, huh? One gallon for 10 pounds of food. We accept gold as well. 10 pounds of food for water? What are you gonna start charging for air too? Oh, we got us a haggler. Look down there, punk. See that? That's Roscoe. We turn hagglers over to him. Still want to haggle, huh? Do you, Vato? I might let you trade your ride for some water. Oh, fuck you, asshole. So be it. All right, boys. <laughs> Freaking Neo, bro. This is it, bro. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh, what the fuck, man? Oh god. Hold on, hold on. This is where it's going to get difficult because I don't have anything um shit, bro. I don't have anything that's just essentially you know powerful. So Going up against these bandits is probably going to be more of a pain in the ass than going up against the, the zombies, you know? But right now, man's got to do... Oh, they're carrying fucking weapons, too. I don't know if they did that in the main game. But you know what? That's okay. Thank you. I'm going to sneak behind them. I'm going to kick their ass. This is what we do around here. Oh god, of course. Wow, are you... Bro, oh, come on. Just die, bro, please. Just die, bro. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Seriously? There we go. Fuck yeah. Hold on, hold on. Yes, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. I told you, man. If you can't beat him, join him. That's how you do it. Now, I don't have a whole lot of bullets, unfortunately, but... You know? Oh, what the fuck? Come on. Come on. There's a fucking mech here right there. That's what I'm talking about. Man, this game really is much harder when you're not <laughs> I leveled enough. I mean, the recommended level is a 12 and I'm like a level level two. All right, this guy shouldn't be that bad. I can't believe it, but, um, we did it. Okay. And we got five premium throwing stars. I don't, I don't know if I should be excited or, or what, but what the hell? Let's go. Okay. Hold on. Things are about to change here quite drastically. I'm dropping this. I'm dropping that. And I'm even dropping this. You know what? It's all about the guns now, baby. 
have finally officially peaked. I have peaked in life. Man, that was. I thought I was gonna have to like cancel this series. I was like, bro, there's no way I can't go up against these humans with this low level. This guy's a little intense. Should I kill him? Did we kill him? Eh. He's probably not gonna give us much anyways. Let's let's keep looting here. Hold on. Let's see what else do we have? Open this door up. That's you can't open that, can you? We're gonna have to go through the roof. Oh, we gotta be careful at night, man. The volatiles. That was their name, right? Volatiles? Bro, those guys are fucking terrifying. Oh my god. How do I get inside? Did I go up through here? Perfect. Rifle ammo. Let's go. Oh my god. I'm actually really excited because I, <laughs> I was able to get past that. Like I'm genuinely... <laughs> your ass to the Macarena. Look at his head split in half. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, wow. Look at that machete. Wow. Dude. Are you kidding me? Oh, I could have grabbed this and slammed him with it. Jazir sent me. Well, Eski did. You're one of the three who got lost? The only one left. I am Ali. They got thrown to that... that beast. Okay, listen, Ali, this place has to be at least sort of operational. Otherwise, the bandits wouldn't have had any water. The bandits have water here, but there is none at the farm. Perhaps we can redirect it. nothing cross your fingers if we did that right in a couple of minutes there'll be water at the park it's not working of course it's Why not working, it working? oh, oh shit. freaking hell uh shit. dude they must have closed it this equipment's fucking ancient Pipes burst. We are all well and truly fucked. I'll get the valve open. Where is it? It's the shit out of me. All I know is it ain't here. Follow the pipeline. For fuck's sake, hurry. Go. I'll keep trying on this head. Go. It is time to get naughty. You're low on fuel. Find more in abandoned vehicles. Fuck me, man. Come on. You know what? Screw that. I'm not going to be looking for that right now. You're crazy if you think I'm going to be looking for fuel right now. You have totally lost your mind. We got to do this quickly, man. Oh, oh, shit. No, bro. I'm telling you, this is criminal. What this buggy has been through. It's absolutely criminal. Oh. Oh, God. I know, bro. Driving skills are on fleek today. I know. Stop it. You don't have to remind me, okay? I know this. I know this, man. Let's 
go. We gotta find this spot. Oh yeah, I'm at some kind of pumping station. The pipeline ends here. Here, here, here. Oh god, we got a freaking minute left. Oh shit. Oh my god. Wow. Ooh, wow, dude. Really a lockpick underwater? <laughs> hey, listen, man. If it, if it makes you happy, we'll do it. Good stuff. This is good stuff. This is good stuff. We got something else here. I got it, but the place was already flooded. So now what? We just we just wait. Yes. Now it should just be a matter of time. So we're good. We're better than good. I think you just saved all our asses. Get back to the farm. I'll tell Jasir you're all right. You know, for a stranger. Oh, nice! I found fuel. Alright, so where do I put the fuel? Oh shit! Cool. It's not that bad. I mean, would it would it have been nice to get more fuel? Absolutely, positively, yes. That was not that bad. You know what? Let's get off right here real quick. Oh, that actually hurts me. Getting off like that. Of course it would. All right, so this one's going to be this way. Look at that, bro. Absolutely turned pro already. We got this, man. We got this under control. Get some fuel. I'm kind of glad that it seems so far like fuel could be found in almost every single vehicle. I don't know if there's going to be an instance where I loot a vehicle or search a vehicle and it doesn't have fuel. I want to say that's not going to be a case. But before I jinx it, yep. Of course, that would, that would happen to me. Absolutely. Man, the driving is so much fun. You don't even know what you just did. Yes. Okay, let me speak to her first. Thank you, Kaya. I guess one man with a death wish can be a great help to those who just want to live in peace. I don't have a death wish. I just can't stand bullies. Well, in any case, you really did something spectacular for the people here. Try talking with my father now. I bet his tune will change. Thanks, Eski. No, thank you. Hmm. Our wells have been polluted for the last month, and people were getting sicker and sicker. Maybe I was wrong about you, stranger. So, any chance you'll answer my question now? About that medicine? Follow me, please. Now you want to be my friend. Through all the shit I've been through. Vizier and Haran, we're running out of Antizen. I'm looking for anything that could save my friends. If you have anything. Yes, stranger, we do. We have our faith and our prayers to the mother. Faith? Uh, look, I, I mean no disrespect, but you... You're telling me that prayers keep you from turning? That's your problem. You lack faith, 
just like the other outsiders. We believe in the Mother, and she protects us. We have no need of Antonsen, or whatever you said. Okay, okay, well, is there any way I could maybe speak with this Mother? She is sacred. She speaks only with those known as the Faceless. But maybe, maybe you could get them to notice you. If you do enough good for our community. At this point, I'll take anything. So what kind of good are you looking for? What, what needs to be done around here? You're serious about this. <laughs> All right, then. Me, I take care of this farm. And my friend Bilal keeps the gas station near town safe. Look around. You'll find more work than any one man could handle. Really? So the mother, holy cow. The only way to discover the secrets of the children of the sun is to earn the acceptance of the faceless, the mother's most devoted protectors. Uh, complete quest, help people you meet in the wild, secure safe zones, etc. to raise your level of trust. So the mother is, um, uh, you received the new outfit. Go to your player stash to change it. Where's my level of trust at here again? Meet uh, Bilal at the gas station. Athletes. Perfect. New skill point acquired. Wow. Okay, so I'm going to go... I'm going to go here. Backpack. Learn how to use space in your backpack more efficiently. Gain four new slots. Yes. Fuck yes. And this is, um, as your body gets more athletic, you're able to absorb more damage. Yes. Allows you to craft level one buggy parts. Interesting. Meet Bilal, Bilal at the gas station. All right, so we're going to head to the gas station. We're going just there. We'll do one more mission and see what's up with this guy. Um, reset position. Oh, shit. Okay. I think we might need to upgrade something or repair. Um, repair all. I'm missing a screw. Fucking hell. Alright, so we can also do challenges. I don't know if I'm gonna be doing any of that, but again, we'll, we'll see. It's really good smashing through the zombies, but one thing I do not like about it is it really fucks up my vehicle. Or so I think. Every time I hit something. I feel like I need to hear me. You have no idea. Fine, don't worry, but listen, your patient was right. There's this there's this group here, and all of its members seem to be immune to the virus. I don't know. They're protected by some local shaman type called the Mother. Only communicates through her priests. I'll try to get in touch with them, but these people don't trust outsiders for shit. Keep trying, but be careful. Alright, so we're going this way. Man, I really love the driving. This is so cool. And where the fuck are we going? Starting to trip me out, man. I'm in the middle of the freaking forest right now. What up, players? Oh, well, we're at the gas station. You know what that means? You can fuel up the buggy and do all sorts of cool stuff. My prices are more than fair. Is that right? 
Whoa. Right, you know what, bro? I'll, I'll be right back. Just give me a sec. I need to do something. I need to go to the map and I need to take this thing. Um, Take that thing out. That was annoying the crap out of me. So it seems like the gas station is some sort of other sanctuary where we can reside in now. I hope you don't mind, but I will steal your racing trophy because I do whatever the hell I want to do. You understand? Excuse me, you uh, you the oh, owner no. here? Oh no, no, no! Hey, hey, Nori, it's all right, buddy. Here you go. I'm Bilal. Uh -huh. That's Nori, my brother. Kyle Crane. Pleasure to. Uh, oh, <laughs> sorry. So, what can I do for you, Kyle? Well, I. I heard the locals might need a hand with a few things. Oh, yeah. Jazir told me you'd come. I heard all about you. Listen, I, I'm just trying to help the people back in the city. Hey, helping the infected? You don't have to explain that to me. I get it. My bro got bitten about two months ago. Wait, two months? And he, and he hasn't turned? I couldn't believe it either, but hey, there he is. Still in working order, unlike this wreck. Just take a look at the board over there. Mm. Jasir ain't lying. We could use plenty of help. And man, I'm envious of your ride. It's the only working vehicle I've seen for a while. Tell you what, if you bring it back here and let me look inside from time to time, I'll give it some tuning up, make it even sweeter. If you want to be helpful in the long run, take good care of it. I'm not exactly a mechanic. Then it's a good thing you're talking to me. Here's what you do. It'll be a long drive, but I bet my left hand it'll be worth it. There's a Silas truck stranded on a highway. Go give it a once over, and if you find any useful parts, bring them to me. Hmm. Okay, so help the locals in order to get noticed by the faceless. Fuck. Power must be offline. We're working on the problem. You want to help us out with it? I mean, dude, do I have an option? Holy crap, you got a lot of goods here. What is that? To recall the vehicle? Oh, I see. Uh, paint jobs. Okay, so. Help the locals. So do I just speak to him again? Hold on. Let me go back in here. This is my stash. I can sleep right here. I don't need to sleep. It's actually quite early right now. Nice. Well, he's a quartermaster as well. Wow, look at this. Fucking hell. Okay. The heart of darkness. Well, that's a cave. Keep an eye on your pantries, uh, on your pantries, friends. The damn monsters not only follow the graves of our loved ones, now they've taken a liking to our canned food. Artists saw one of them creatures near the cave of the beach. Let me take a look there. I know it's risky, but damn, people. Canned food ain't easy to get nowadays. Is that what we have to do? Is, is this what we're supposed to do? Missing person. Let me see. If I go to quest. Yeah, I'm going to do this one. So what do I have to do? First off, get this fuse to Ali at the plant. He can't do shit without it. Once you get the fuse to him, we'll get the power back. If he can keep from electrocuting himself, I mean. Guy thinks safety precautions are for pussies. I did see a guy trying to dig a broken light bulb out of the socket with a steel screwdriver while the power was on. <laughs> yup. Sounds like Ali. He means well anyway. So, listen friend. Two things need to happen. One, like I said, get him this fuse. Two, we need a working insulator. Or the fuse blows as soon as he flips the switch. He says the old ones will hold, but fuck me if I believe him. <laughs> Alright, cool. So find an insulator on the power pole. By far, if you ask me. I kind of 
wish we would get like a little trail, you know what I mean? Like a little track tracking trail on the mini map. That'd be nice. For the most part I think we're a-okay though. He's on the tower. Okay, perfect. Get to the airdrop. Eh, that's not that bad. That ain't that bad. <laughs> oh, it's been a long time since we've done this. Climbing towers. <laughs> Let's go. All right, hold on. Okay, hold on. This is getting a little tricky here. Hold on. It seems like this is not gonna. This is not gonna work out for us. Ow. Just broke my damn ankles. That's not the way. This is the way. <laughs> Label me stupid for thinking that was the way. Ag agility level up. Alright, perfect. Whoa, whoa. Oh, what's in here, dude? Oh, shit, sorry. I didn't there was anybody in here. I'll bet you didn't. Thieving little some bitch. Hey, well, relax. It's not like that. I was just looking for some parts to fix up my ride. <laughs> I wasn't gonna steal anything. Thieving little bitch. <laughs> oh, shit, that's hilarious. Alright, so from here I gotta climb up there. Oh, there's somebody eating something. I don't like this, man. Empty fuel. Empty, of course it's empty. Everything's empty. Just in case. Oh, shit. You know what? Screw this. This shenanigans. My kick's excessively strong. I love it. Yeah, he died. He died a tragic death. So be it. 
Oh god, I'm stuck here. Are you telling me that I can take my buggy and... No, I can't. I, I was about to get my buggy and go up through here, but... I don't think it's impossible. What the fuck? Let's go. Uh, I see him there. What's going on here? Well, if it isn't Kyle Crane, great to see you. And this? This is the mother's blessing. He's one of the faceless. Uh, great, I need to ask him something. Don't you dare disturb him. His prayers are what's protecting us, don't you understand? Okay, okay, I won't bother him, but I do have something for you. Bilal sends his best. That bastard. So that's it? You're gonna get the power running? Need anything else? Actually, yes. Since you offered, when this ancient piece of shit broke down, the main transfer switch must have thrown. It'll need resetting. Where is it? Inside the dam. And I'm pretty much done here, so... Well, the faster you get to it, the better. Out of beat your ass. Oh. Hell yeah. Inside the dam. <laughs> I freaking love it. These guys got hollow bodies. That's funny. Go inside the dam. Okay, what the hell we got in here? More shenanigans. I gotta start using this again. I completely forget that I have that ability. And I've got some more spent, uh, unspent skills that I can use. This is probably gonna be a boss fight or something crazy. Oh, fuck! <laughs> Fucking knew it. Fuck. Why is nothing ever simple? Seriously, dude. Oh no, that's not what I was expecting. Alright. Is there anything here where this guy can run into? Throwing the switch now. Great. But it didn't work, man. Try to find the main transfer switch. It must be somewhere in there. Let me guess. Underground. Oh, come on! <gasps> Going to run all the way across. Oh, my God. I got you, man. I got this. There it is. You see? Hello? Crane? The faceless said we have to pack up and go. I couldn't finish the job. Hurry up, man. We're moving to one of the shacks in the plant. Join us once you're done there, all right?
Wait, what? Alright, so I gotta go back up there. Or how do I get out of here? This place is disgusting. Oh, through here. Okay. I know I have unspent skill points. It's told me multiple times, but I don't want to. I don't want to kill the mood. I don't want to slow down the momentum we got. So I'll do it. The next episode. Let me see if it's through here. Possibly all the way over here. Yep, it's got to be here. There it is. God, can this take any longer? The good thing about this is being low level. I managed to hide, but the faceless stayed outside, and I don't know what's going on there. It sounds horrible. The good thing about being so low level is that whenever I do level up, it's super fast, you know, and it's a significant upgrade. Just because normally what I have is really shitty and really low level. Besides from that, it's really not practical to have started this DLC the way I did. <laughs> the way I did. Right, so we'll go through. We're gonna have to save this guy. For sure, I think. I think you're safe now. <laughs> Jesus, what happened? I don't know. He just said, we gotta go now and let me hear. Told me to get inside and lock the door. He's dead now. May the mother bless his soul. Let's go, Ali. You said you needed to finish something out there, right? Yeah, I was almost done. Just need to flip some switches. Well, I'll stand guard while you're doing it. You ready? Yeah, let's go. The sooner we're done with this, the better. Now I'm going to do it. Now I'm going to do the the, the, the the points. So this is grapple. This is the drop kick. Hell yeah. You got a better, uh, you got better at fighting, gain more stamina, receive access to new set of combat abilities. We should be good. There's nobody here anyways. Unless they're going to start coming at us. Which hopefully that's not the case. But in this game, expect the unexpected. What? Almost done. Airdrop. Oh no, they're coming. Dude, what are you doing, man? Hurry up. Not for him. 
He's the one doing anything productive at all. And yeah, you come for me. Come here. You scared of the spikes? Oh, you scared of the spikes. You're a smart one, huh? I'd have beat your ass. Come here, Junior. Oh, this dude just leaped at me. Holy crap. And you're dead. That's how you do it. Oh, God, what a mess. Oh, fuck. I think we got it. <laughs> and we got a safe zone unlocked. Awesome. So, power's back on for good? It's back on for now, but with this old rusty broken ass equipment, <laughs> I make you no promises. All right, fair enough. I'll be heading out then. You coming? Nah. This place is safe now, right? I'll just hang out here. Observe for a while. Make sure it doesn't all break down the moment my back is turned. Man, this is long. Holy crap. Look at that. New level of trust earned. You're now a newcomer. Ooh. <laughs> Talk to the trucker. Perfect. So that's the guy up in the bridge, which we saw earlier. Our airdrop got stolen. That's okay. All right, guys. So we're going to end it here. Thank you so much for watching. This has been the first episode of Dying Lights. The following. I cannot wait to see what ends up happening to our beloved friend here. And what happens to Haran and what happens to this city or this little village or whatever the hell this is. Um, this is really not a, definitely not a village, but uh, it's been great. And I think I could probably, I probably could have used this to, to, yeah, to execute the zombies. I just saw that now. <laughs> Anyways, again, thank you so much. Hopefully you guys had a good time. As always, if you did, drop it a like. And uh, hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next one.